role was one of just helping, supporting, talking, planning, trying to devise the plan. First we had to find somebody who knew something about building steam engines because there's not too many people around building steam engines. Uh, we found a gentleman in Illinois. Uh, coincidentally, he had just finished building one called the Leviathan uh, for himself as a hobby. The forms, molds, and plans for the engine were in Salt Lake City, Utah, uh, and they were owned by the National Park Service and were available for us to use to build our engine. We had at our disposal uh, the plans, forms, and molds that could be used to, to build the various parts, and it's built from the ground up. Uh, the, you know, the wheels and the bearings and the frame and everything is, is unique construction. You don't buy it off the shelf somewhere. There's about 8,000 ties that need to be replaced, um, and in a nine-mile stretch, that's People say, well, that's a lot. Well, no, it's not. I mean, you figure ties are not that far apart. But uh, they've been marked, uh, the ones that need to be uh, replaced, uh, and we have a contractor coming in to do that. My name's Troy Miller. We work for Balfour Beatty Rail out of Indiana. What we do here is just a tie gang production. This process, just of the tie installation, will take approximately 10 days. The spiker does what obvious, the spiking and the gauging. The plater in front of you it will be doing the jacking of the rail, placing the plates, and beyond that you have a tie crane that's actually handling the debris ties, removing them to site where they can be gathered up as a group with a grapple truck, then they place them in the hole, then you got the trip in certain. Uh, there's some washouts that need to be filled in with ballast, uh, some of that's already been done. Uh, and there's some rails that need to be uh, lowered. <laughs> On the curves, the curves uh, the track on the curves now, uh, the outside track is elevated because the trains that, that ran through there were running at higher speeds than we're going to run. So we've got to bring the outside track down a little bit so people don't feel like they're falling out of the seat as you go around the curve. Um, that's the track work. Uh, the, tr the overall line, the overall bed uh, was in pretty good shape considering the fact that it hadn't had a lot done to it and, or used for uh, a number of years. Uh, the engine, um, as we speak on this April 16th, uh, we have uh, our chief operating officer and four other men are in Elgin, Illinois. And uh, the train, the track, the locomotive was put on the tracks yesterday for the first time and was operated. Uh, the Federal Railway Administration inspectors were there to inspect it. Uh, there's obviously a lot of standards that have to be met, a lot of inspections that have to, that have to be performed and they are in the process of being performed. And once they're finished, then it will be placed uh, on a truck, uh, two trucks actually, the engine on one, the tender on another. We take the cab and the stack and some things off so that it can be transported. And it'll be trucked to New Freedom. Elegant drink that can't be made, I work it on the railway. Fiddly o re i re a fiddly o re i re a fiddly o re i re a I work it on the railway. In 1849 was sent to the office to pick up my time. Sent to the office to pick up my time, I work it on the railway. Fiddly o re i re a fiddly o re i re a fiddly o re i re a I work it on the railway.